everyone. I'm going to read you one of Margaret Wilde's books. It's a book called The Bush Book Club and it's about an, a bilby who doesn't really like to read but he does, in the end he does um, decide that reading and books are pretty good. I hope you enjoy it. Got some great pictures and the illustrator is Ben Wood. Okay. The Bush Book Club. Everyone except Bilby belonged to the Bush Book Club. Echidna loved reading snug in bed with platters of ants and buttered bread. Kangaroo loved reading as she hopped along trying not to fall in the billabong. Koala loved reading in the old gum tree enchanted by tales of fantasy. Crocodile loved stories that made him cry. He sniffled and snuffled, sobbed and sighed. But Bilby, Bilby couldn't keep still long enough to read more than a sentence or two. He wriggled and jiggled. He twiddled and fiddled. He skipped and hopped. He flipped and flopped. One afternoon, when the whole book, Bush Book Club was meeting as usual, Bilby played on his own. He did a headstand, he did a handstand, a somersault and two cartwheels. He sighed. Now what? He wandered over to the clubhouse and peeped through the window. Everyone was smiling and chatting and swapping books. Bilby crept in and hid behind a bookshelf. He listened to everyone talking about the books they loved. He'd never heard of any of them. He was so bored, he closed his eyes and fell asleep. When he woke up, it was dark and everyone had gone home. The door was locked, the windows were locked. Help! shouted Bilby, but no one came. He switched on the lamp and looked around for something to do. There was nothing to do. There was just books, books, books. Bilby built a tower out of books. A fort, a great wall, three houses. He made a maze out of books. He made stepping stones and a bridge. He played with all the books until there was not one left on the shelves. Bilby twitched and twirled. He jumped and bumped. He flicked his ears. He nibbled his tail. He sighed. Now what? Because there was nothing else to do, he picked up a book. It was called The Terrifying Adventures of Big Brave Bilby. Bilby read the first sentence, then the second, the third, the fourth. He turned the pages slowly at, far, at first, then faster and faster. It was a scary story to read at night. His eyes grew big. He shuddered with fright, but he couldn't stop reading. He had to find out how big, brave Bilby escaped from a river of crocodiles. Defeated a pack of snarling dingoes and rescued a family of possums from a bushfire. As the sun started to rise, Bilby said, the end. He was sorry he'd finished the book. He wanted it to last forever. He put all the books except one back on the shelves and waited for the members of the Bush Book Club to arrive. His stomach rumbled, but his head was full of words and stories. What are you doing here? asked Echidna. I've been reading the best book in the world, said Bilby. Would you like to join the club? asked Koala. Yes, please, said Bilby. 
and he hurried home to eat breakfast and read more terrifying adventures of the big, brave Bilby. I hope you enjoyed that. Now, it's your turn in your workbook if you could write down the title of the book and just draw a picture of your favourite bit, tell me what you liked, something you found interesting, a connection, and that would be fantastic. And we'll try and get you some more uh, Margaret Wild books to listen to on YouTube. See you later, guys. Thank you.